Hello, my dear pupils. Haven't seen you for ages. I miss you a lot. What about you? I hope you miss me too. For those pupils who don't know me, I'm English teacher from Educational Complex number 42. I'm Yulia Vladislavna and I invite you to join my class. Okay, let's start. Our helpers for today. Student's book for the pupils of the seventh form by Oksana Karpiuk. And workbook for the pupils of the seventh form by Oksana Karpiuk. And first of all, let's play a game. In this game, you should tell your opinion, agree or disagree with the statement. In the left column, the prompts are for you. I totally agree with the statement that teenagers have too much freedom. I totally disagree with the statement that teenagers don't read enough. In my opinion, museums and art galleries are boring. I don't think individual sports are better than team sports. From my point of view, watching TV together is a good family activity. I totally agree with the statement that teenagers spend too much time shopping. I totally disagree with the statement my friends have a big influence on how I spend my time. In my opinion, music is the most important thing in teenager's life. I think you can judge people by them, by their taste in music and clothes. From my point of view, parents don't appreciate our tastes in music and clothes. Well, that's that was wonderful. Now, grammar corner and reflexive pronouns. Reflexive pronouns zvorotni zaimenniki. Reflexive pronouns are objects that refer to the subject. Zvorotni zaimenniki ukazuyet na toho, kto vykonuje diju. They end in self or selves. Утворюються за допомогою суфіксів self в однині та selves в множині. This table is for you. I, myself, I sometimes talk to myself. You, singular, однина, yourself, do you ever ask yourself this question? You, plural, Manujina. Yourselves, please take good care of yourselves. He, himself, he hurt himself with the knife. She, herself, she looked at herself in a mirror. It, itself, the cat licked itself. We, ourselves, we will clean the room ourselves. They, themselves, they had a nice time. They enjoyed themselves. Here are three 
situations in which we use reflexive pronouns and, of course, some for your memory. So, remember that Діє слова, behave, поводитися, feel, почувати, afford, дозволити собі, dress, одягатися, wash, умиватися, shave, голитися, вживаються без зворотніх займенників. Також зверніть увагу на те, що ми не використовуємо myself as a subject. This is wrong variant, this is correct variant. And for more information, you can see pupil's book, page 146 and 149. Now, let's train our skill. Look here and complete the sentences with the reflexive pronouns yourself, himself, yourself, herself, themselves, ourselves, herself, himself, ourselves, ourselves. And let's read the first sentence and complete with the necessary reflective pronoun. Can you translate these sentences? Which word? Yes, that's right. Yourself. Don't help him. He can wash his hands. How? Yes, that's right. Himself. Wash? Yes. Yourself. You are so dirty. Yesterday, my mother bought a new dress for... Yeah, you are right. Herself. Sentence number five. The children gathered all those berries themselves. Sentence number six. We can't give you these things. We need them. Yes, ourselves. And looked at the mirror. And looked at herself. Yes, at the mirror. The child hid himself behind the door. Yes, that's right. She fell down and hurt herself. And the last sentence, we all enjoyed ourselves at the party. Clap yourself. It was nice. The next task is a game. I know that teenagers like mysterious and detective tasks and this is mysterious game is for you. So the game called Secret Task and you should watch the video and find out four person. The first person likes to play in the garden. You should write down its, his or her name. The second person is a person who won a cake school competition with a lemon cake. The third person, it is a person who does swimming. And the fourth person is a person who likes to play badminton in the garden. So, 
Be attentive. Take your pens and papers and let's watch the video. Let's check our answers. Ready? Okay. Who likes to play in the garden? Anna. Yes, that's right. Who won a cake school competition with a lemon cake? It's Ben. Yes. Who does swimming? And this is Lucy. Yes, that's right. Who likes to play badminton in the garden? Yes, it's Rishi. This is Ola. She likes playing a computer game in rainy weather. She also likes looking out of the window during winter evenings. She likes throwing balls of paper on weekends. And now I suggest you to complete the sentences in a way which is true for you, like we did about Ola. In my leisure time, I like to read books, I like playing cards or do something else. I will speak about myself, you speak about yourself. In my leisure time, I like playing cards with my friends. It is really exciting to eat nuts in summer, but I hate doing, making a paper planes. I am also not pleased with drinking cola. In rainy days, I eat bubble gum. On the weekend, I draw a picture of somebody. So, that's all for today and for the next time, please write a short paragraph about your hobbies or past times. It was nice to meet you. See you next time.
Have a good day.